This week we're in Los Angeles and we're talking about something that everyone experiences, burnout. This is a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan GT in Octane Red Pearl and my Jerry Seinfeld impression is way off. I really thought that it would be easier to do a Seinfeld impression for this opener, but this is nowhere even close. The interior is black gray stone with a red stitch, and it's equipped with a 283 horsepower, six cylinder, six speed automatic engine, and power sliding doors. Zero to 60 in about 10 seconds, and 11 cup holders. I'm Taylor Jackson, and this is Around the World with Taylor Jackson, presented by Nikon, and today, my guest is the Nikon Z6. <laughs> There is no direct line to becoming successful as a creator. Instead, we have this series of confusing lines that all lead us in different directions. All of these lines lead somewhere, and it's up to us to put together the sequence that gets us to the runway. But with such an overwhelming number of combinations, a lot of us are feeling burnt out before we ever make it for takeoff. Every winter, as the temperature shifts, a fog moves in. The heat from the hours I spend behind a computer mixes with the cold air, overworked and underhydrated. In this time, I spend days trying to re-inspire myself, buying new lighting, film cameras, lenses, starting new projects, new photo books, booking trips. None of it works. The fog will last until the sun burns it off in the spring, when I get busy again and there's no time to think. Life seems more simple when you're busy and there's progression, either in skills or finance or relationships. But the fog will always come back. It will arrive before you wake and it will always take too long to burn off. I've come to LA to relax and recover, but I'm finding it incredibly difficult to pass up opportunities to work. A lot of people come to Los Angeles to make it in their respective field, and that could be photography, film, as a model and actor, all of those markets are so oversaturated that you have to work so much harder than everyone else and it is much more likely that you're gonna face burnout. So what exactly is burnout? In short, burnout is physical or emotional exhaustion. Usually it's also accompanied with a reduced sense of accomplishment or some loss of your personal identity in the craft that you love. It can also be straight physical that you've pushed your body so hard for so long that it just needs time to reset. It can come out of nowhere and it is a hard stop on your journey. I quit my full-time job because I wanted to create. I love being able to create full-time. But creating full-time, you get burnt out. My mind is always running, always running. I, burnt, I, just, I, I can't always create. And how the digital space is now is that you have to keep creating. You have to keep creating or your, your stuff starts to fall back. They'll put you at the end of the line. And being a YouTuber, just, it's, like, it's, it's like an avalanche is always behind you. You're getting chased by an avalanche and eventually it's gonna get you. And the avalanche represents running out of ideas, running out of banger videos, um, getting tired of editing. It's all there waiting to happen. It's eventually gonna happen. And it, it, it's happened to me a couple of times and that's why I finally ha hired someone for help. But this has been real, you know, and, and I, feel, I feel like a complainer because I'm complaining about the dream life, right? That you get to travel and do photography full time, but it's real, man. It's real, the burnout is definitely real. Uh. 
Yeah, I put in work. When I do what I do, better go and put in work. When I see what I see, better go and put in work. When I get what I get, better go and put in work. When I roll how I roll, better go and put in work. But I look so fresh every time I put in work. And I know I win every time I put in work. I can smell that dough every time I put in work. Every time I, every time I put in work. Uh, I put in work. I put in work. Work. I put in work. Everyone is going to tell you that to be successful, you have to work harder than everyone else. The problem with this is that work is infinite. What's worked for me in managing burnout is working in projects and seasons, knowing that if I put in the hard work this month, I can work half as hard next month. This works for me because it makes everything seem a lot less overwhelming. When I feel there is a constant, never-ending stream of work coming my way, I start to feel burnt out and I feel unmotivated. If I know there was a reward of more time freedom on the other side of this hard week, I start to feel a lot better about it. Travel specifically is also a huge motivator for me. Knowing that if I work hard and get everything done before I go, I can relax and enjoy the trip. This is a trade that I can make with myself that I really do feel good about. It's important for you to figure out what motivates you to get through the hard times before you start feeling overwhelmed, stressed, and anxious. And when that fog rolls in again, take time for yourself, for your health, for your happiness. It's a delicate balance and it's very easy to get into a dark place. And while life and your success may always be led by indirect lines, it's important to enjoy the process of discovery. When it comes down to it, that's really what photography and life are all about. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week.